What's up guys, my name is Marlon and I'm the uh, media production director here at PCC. What's up guys, I'm Anthony and I'm the live stream director. Here at PCC. <laughs> director? Yeah. Cool man, yeah, he's a director. <laughs> anyway guys, so we wanna make this uh, uh, little review on um, the Sony FX30, which is right here. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, show him, show him. Show him, look at that. Anyway, so we just got our hands on, how many, three? Four, or oh, yeah, three. Three of these, and our buddy Julian is actually shooting with one right now. Um, it's So he, technically we have four FX30s th and two FX3s, and man, bro, are you loving it or what? I love it. It's sick, bro, so so let's talk a little bit about why we got it. Um, so as you can see here, it's, it's a cageless design. Um, by the way, it's paired with the Zeiss 35 1.4, so it's a very nice prime lens. As you can see, Anthony's showing out the, the lens, super fire lens for photos and really good for video. Um, so the reason why I like it is because of the cageless design. However, we do have a cage for it for obvious reasons. We still like to put, uh, what do we like to do on this? Like, what do we put on here? We just rig up the whole camera. Yep. I mean, the FX30 and the FX3, I mean, me personally, I have an FX3 and the 30 is just a baby brother, yeah. little sister. Yeah. I love it. It's How can you not love this camera? I mean, personally. Exactly. I don't know how people shoot with Canon, but no hate, no hate, no hey, hate. Hey, no hate, hate but hate. I mean, this but thing could, this thing got, you this could thing, put a LUT in there, yeah, right? Yeah, this thing's like a, it's an animal. It's like everything you need in one camera. But this one, you can get it for a fraction of the price at about 1800 bucks. And if you're feeling like you want to get the handle, the audio handle, then yeah, you're looking at a little over 2000 But we chose not to get the audio handle. We didn't need it. That's why we got the cage. Um, and so, I mean, we have a handle and we rig it up. We put a monitor. We put a... Uh, yeah, we're putting a transmitter so that we can get feed. And the cool thing is about this is you can output 4K. So like yeah. with a normal camera, I'm talking Sony A7 III's, A7 IV's, Canon R5, things like that. You're you're not being able to output 4K. You're only getting out 1080. Even though you're shooting 4K for your videos, this thing is outputting 4K and it's a full HDMI. And and I'm telling you like that's a game changer. You don't have to worry about getting those little adapters. Just look for a full HDMI cable, and and, and you're set. You're you. Anyway. Could, Hook it up on a monitor and you're you're good to go. And uh, you know it's it's such a good camera, um, especially for church. Like yeah. like tell tell me why like it's so good for like church production. Like it's legit. It's like I don't know. I just love this camera. I'm in love with it. Yeah. It's like it just blows me away. It's fire. It's yeah. fire. Hey, isn't it Netflix certified? Netflix certified. Netflix certified. And and recently, I mean I mean you know hey if you go to the movies hey. That's another, guilty. guilty. <laughs> if you go to the movies, you probably heard of the creator. The creator was actually shot on an FX3. Even though this isn't an FX3, it's literally an FX3. It's an FX30, but it, all that really changes is that little crop sensor and uh, maybe a couple little things, but. Isn't there FX3 right there? There's an FX3 right there, look at that. Come here, come here, bring it over. <laughs> look at this, bro. This thing's a bad boy. Our B cam. Yeah, our B cam for so all the shots you're seeing, all these little side shots, FX3 paired with the Sigma 24 to 70. Dude. My personal camera, I love it. Yeah, it doesn't get better than that. Doesn't get better than back that. Back to the B roll. Ba back to the B roll, King Julian. Hey, so and so like that, that's like the best thing. Like like some guy decided, you know what? I'm gonna shoot a video strictly with an FX3. And I don't know if you've seen the movie. I haven't seen the movie. Um, when it comes out, I will. But like the the. The, the image quality out of that is insane. And so, I mean, people are shooting with like super crazy cameras, but look, this little thing, this little thing can shoot a movie. Same. IMAX certified, not just Netflix certified, IMAX certified, it's it's crazy, crazy good. Um, I'm even gonna cue in a couple like B-roll shots that the guys have taken here. Um, and, and as you can see, uh, like the, the quality of this looks amazing. Like here, I'll go ahead and play it. And as I'm, as I'm talking, you can see like, you know, you're, you're getting like really nice bokeh all the way down to 1.4, depending on your lens. The image quality is crazy. We have a whole bunch of LUTs that we've been using. Uh, my personal favorite is Utopia, which one's yours? I think Utopia too, but Utopia. the neutral one. Yeah, yeah. And then Tungsten's kind of been killing it lately. I used it for uh, RF uh, last week and man, I, I, it, it, it was just crazy. Never used it, I love it. Color grid was amazing for RF. It was, it was legit. It was awesome, like honestly, and it, all that shot on Sony FX3, nothing, nothing, nothing less. Like, let's just put it like that. Like, 
like this camera is definitely blowing uh, all the all the competition like out of the way like it's it's killing it the cameras we got for church we use them for live stream and I gotta say, like, we're gonna be using these for quite a while, like. Until we get, like, a FX6. Hey, FX6, man, that'd be crazy, dude. FX6 would be insane, that would be super cool. Um, so, going on to our last segment, and, and this is just, we're just gonna talk personal uh, preference. These are our opinions. Um, to, in, in the end, you know, it's up to you what you wanna get, like, if it's if you're shooting Canon or Fuji. <laughs> Fuji? Uh, hey, if you shoot Fuji, good for you. I mean, hey, to, to, you know, more power to you, right? But um, there's Fuji. I mean, there's uh, there's Red. I mean, Red, but that's Red is Red's crazy. Insane. Red is crazy. I'm not gonna talk bad about Red, bro. Uh, but then there's Canon. Canon is obviously Canon and uh, Sony have kind of like been controlling the game. They left Nikon like in the bag like a long time ago. Um, but in the end, look, we're gonna talk about why we chose Sony over Canon. Uh, I love the Sony colors compared to Canon. Yeah. Since me personally, I started with Canon mm -hmm. like a long, 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 long time ago. What, what camera was it? <laughs> a RP. RP, man, me so too. I worked my way up from a RP yeah. to the R3 and to R4, back to a 4, now FX3. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been crazy. Crazy journey. Yeah. And what, what, what do you got to say? What's your, what's been your favorite camera so far? My FX3. FX3. Yep. Yep. I got to say the same thing. I, I started with an RP sold it to get i think that's when i decided i was like you know what i'm gonna go sony because a buddy of mine lewis shout out to lewis he's over in japan uh he was shooting with an a7 III, and at first i hated sony i was like i was like man like sony is trash like why why would you shoot with sony but he kept saying dude sony's the future sony's the future and i didn't want to believe him that was back in 2018 um, look at us now. We're, we, Shout we're out Sony. Julian. Shout out when Julian. I got my candy, he's like, go to Sony. Oh, uh, like, yeah, I remember. Yeah. I never listen. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and, like, what's crazy is that, um, you know, Canon has a... I mean, don't get me wrong. Canon has great cameras. Uh, I think I think probably the only camera I'd probably consider would be the C70. Yeah. It's basically the competition to the FX3. But I mean, personally, it's like huge compared to the FX. I know. FX3 is the same size as this. I know. It's and crazy. The C70 is like a whole box. It's like a yeah sandwich or something. Yeah, it's it's. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. In the end, it's like, I see a lot of people, like I see content creators, they're using a C70. And I mean, the, the stuff that they're making is, is pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie. And I sometimes I'm like, oh, that's an FX3 or that's yeah. an FX6. And it's like, oh, it was a Canon C70. A buddy of mine shoots with a C70 and the stuff he makes is insane. But I just think that, I don't know. I feel like the FX3 grows with you, even yeah. though the camera stays the same. I feel like the more you learn from the, that camera, I feel like, you just don't have a reason to upgrade. Like and it's like so much you can get from this yeah. camera. Yeah. It's Either you decide to go with the FX30 or the FX3, or you can get an A74. Oh, yeah, an it's A74. Cool too, but what? Which you have an A74? Yeah, I have an A74 too, but I mean, I use it strictly more for pictures. Yeah. Which is fire. Yeah. Really good camera for photos. Really, and it's full HDMI. Yeah. If you want to use it for video, mm -hmm. so it's pretty cool. While he's getting that. <laughs> Q lobby music. I'm back. Boom, he's back. That was quick, yo. Why wouldn't you want this camera? Like seriously, look how exactly. fire that looks. You could have a little screen on here. Look, handheld right, right here, real quick, dude. Something that I really like about this is like, like we had mentioned, cageless design. So technically, you don't need a cage for this camera. Uh, like I said, we have one for obvious reasons. We like to rig some stuff up. But if you didn't want to get a cage, you don't have to because you got one, two three you got i think four mounting points to just put anything on it really uh this fan will enable to keep the camera cool and you don't got to worry about a camera overheating kind of like other cameras which we're not gonna name canon anyway um what else i mean you got the you got your flip out screen which is a plus now like that's super cool at the old sony's you just kind of like flipped I it. it when they came out like i'm yep. like this I know, and now you, you now you got that flip screen for sure. Like it's really cool. Um, battery life is insanely good. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up with the video. Um, so if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you for uh, supporting us and watching it. Share, like, like, subscribe, subscribe, 
do it all. Do it all, man. <laughs> Comment below, and we'll see follow you. Follow our production team. Follow our church page. Yeah. Follow Facebook, all our handles. Instagram, uh, we're gonna put YouTube. put them in the end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll put them in the end. Follow all of our our social handles, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.